Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fictional cars from film and TV. I want a car. Chicks dig the car. It's a heavy metal makeover! Totally righteous, Donatello! For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable, iconic, and coolest vehicles from film and TV. Which ride would you love to own? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, the A-Team van, the A-Team. This is Unit 24, just spotted Suspect's van going east. Suspects have spotted me, am in pursuit. When it comes to notable vehicles from pop culture, there's plenty of cars that come to mind. Yet there's only a handful of vans that are all that memorable. One of these is the infamous GMC Vandura from the 80s classic action show, The A-Team. Well, that's a pretty wild looking truck you got there, mister. Well, you sure ain't from around here, are you, huh? With the signature black paint cover and red racing stripe, it's a van that any fan of the show would recognize a mile away. Used by the four members of the A-Team as their main go-to vehicle, it was seen in virtually every episode of the show's five-year run. Number nine, Herbie the Love Bug, the Herbie franchise. In order to appreciate some of the vehicles on this list, you have to have a certain amount of suspension of disbelief. Yes, we know cars aren't alive, but some of the most memorable ones had their own personality. Herbie was such a car. No! Stop it, stop it, you don't know what you're doing! Originally shown as a 1963 Volkswagen Beetle, this little car came full of fun and attitude. Easily recognizable with the number 53 on the hood and doors, Herbie is a car you could see yourself chumming around with. Appearing in six movies and a short-lived TV show, he's as adorable as any pet could be. Rotten sportsmanship, if you ask me. Number eight, Lightning McQueen, the Cars franchise. Oh yeah, Lightning's ready. What racing car fan would turn down a chance to go for a ride inside a famed piston cup racer, Lightning McQueen? Introduced in the first Pixar Cars movie, McQueen has been entertaining audiences for 15 years. Made to look like a more curvaceous version of a NASCAR vehicle, McQueen's red, yellow, and orange colors make him stand out. In your dreams, Thunder. <laughs> yeah, right. Thunder, what's he talking about Thunder? You know, because Thunder always comes after lightning. <laughs> Even though he has a bit of a cocky attitude, there's still a little something lovable about both the car and the character. Once you've got to know him, he'd become more of a companion than just your day-to-day -day ride. I knew it. I knowed I made a good choice. In what? My best friend. Number seven, Mach 5, the Speed Racer franchise. Take it, you're ready to go. Legendary driver Speed Racer might not have been so successful if it wasn't for his trusty Mach 5. This incredibly fast vehicle boasts a sleek and futuristic design, a brilliant white color scheme with hints of red and an iconic yellow number five. What makes this beautiful car even better is that it comes with plenty of useful gadgets that help speed stay competitive in his hectic races. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Every 90s kid that grew up with the anime series remake dreamed of getting their driver's license just so they could get behind the wheel of the Mach 5. The idea of racing down the track while the show's insanely catchy theme song blasts on the radio is still appealing. He's gaining on you, so you better look alive. He's busy revving up the powerful Mach 5. Number 6, Ecto-1, the Ghostbusters franchise. There's something strange in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Starting life as a 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor Futura duplex, the infamous Ecto-1, or Ectomobile, rolled out of the firehouse and into our hearts in 1984. Between the iconic siren sound, unique design, and ghost symbol on the doors, this was a signature car unlike anything before it. 
Several variations have been seen throughout the films and cartoons, but all stay true to the theme of a combination car that's part ambulance and part hearse. Oh, look at that beauty! Oh, Woo! Oh, Wait a minute, what did you do to my uncle's hearse? I fixed it. Does anyone else love the irony of a hearse being used to drive around people who capture ghosts? Number five, Mystery Machine, the Scooby-Doo franchise. By far the most iconic van on the list, the Mystery Machine is as much a part of the Scooby franchise as the titular dog. Serving as the official vehicle for the members of Mystery Inc., the van has remained relatively the same since its grand introduction back in 1969. This mystery's got me baffled. Well, it's got me like hungry. When do we eat? <laughs> It's light blue coloring with touches of red and big flowers make it clear that this ride originated in the hippie era. However, that doesn't stop the van from being a timeless vehicle that easily captures the hearts of fans when seen on screen or at car shows around the world. Are you guys okay? Sure. As long as you define okay as in massive agony. <laughs> It's hard to look at without thinking of Shaggy and Scooby in the back, scared of the next adventure. Number four, Aston Martin, the James Bond franchise. And I suppose that's completely inconspicuous. Get in. Bond has driven too many different cars to fit on this list. Yet of all the vehicles he's been behind the wheel of, it's the Aston Martin that fans mostly associate him with. Since it's been showcased in 13 films so far, it's safe to say Bond is quite a fan. The DB5 model seems like a particular favorite of his. Silver and sleek, the Aston Martin is a car that exudes class and civility, much like Bond himself. With plenty of cues, gadgets added to the mix, it's not only the car for the likes of spies, but for collectors who seek to be as suave as 007. Aston Martin call it the vanquish, we call it the vanish. Oh, very good. Number three, Kit, the Knight Rider franchise. I am the voice of Knight Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T -T for easy reference, a kit if you prefer. Hi there, do you have a Trans Am that can talk, drive itself, does turbo boost jumps, plays TV shows, does video calling, and has a flamethrower? Great, well, we'll take one. If it were only that easy. Hey, wow, man, this thing must make coffee too. I do nothing of the kind. I'll pull over immediately. With Kit, Knight Rider gave us one of the most famous sports cars in all of television history. The original iteration was a 1982 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, with Kit standing for Knight Industries 2000. Thanks to the ingenuity of the showrunners and the impeccable talent of voice actor William Daniels, Kit became the car of the 1980s. Still revered to this day, anyone and everyone who watched the show wanted to have their very own Kit. I can't believe this. A car that talks back to me. Number two, the Batmobile, the Batman franchise. I'll get my car. I brought mine. Yours. Now, this is a car that has probably seen more iterations than many vehicle models in real life. From the original 1960s era classic, all the way to Zack Snyder's Justice League, it's a car that has survived the ages. With each new iteration of the Batman story, we get another version of the classic superhero set of wheels. You really are out of your mind. The original Adam West ride and the Michael Keaton versions tend to be the ones that fans have most gravitated towards. Regardless of which one you favor, they all seem to come with every gadget conceivable and then some. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Flintmobile, the Flintstones franchise. Mutt Cuts Van, AKA Shaggin' Wagon, the Dumb and Dumber franchise. Okay, gang, you know the rules. No humping, no pushing, no sniffing hiding. Where have you been? The Incredibile, the Incredibles franchise. Incredibile, take us to Dev Tech. 
Kevin's car, the Ben 10 franchise. Okay, that's worth breaking some traffic laws. Grease Lightning, Grease. Grease Lightning, you're burning up the quarter mile. Grease Lightning, Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, DeLorean Time Machine, the Back to the Future franchise. There's no fictional car as recognizable as the DeLorean Time Machine from Back to the Future, as Doc Brown himself said. The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? DMC DeLoreans may not have been all that popular when they came out in 1981, but when the first Back to the Future film came out in 1985, their notoriously poor build quality was forgotten, and they became the epitome of cool. <laughs> The cultural impact of this car has inspired many fans to rebuild stock DeLoreans to match the car from the movie. The signature look of the gold wing doors, combined with the massive exhaust vents in the back, made this a car everyone wants to take a ride in. Hey Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.